How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the next episode. Take a look here. It is winter time here in the uh, Great Lakes, and I wanted to shoot a video, and not only just any kind of video, a real important video about anodes, as you can kind of see from the beginning. We, um, we've got this here, and we also got a little kitty. Um, anodes right you can kind of see this anode is deteriorating kind of a lot but there's kind of an issue that i've noticed too and there's some other oxidation that i've seen in and around the bow and it's kind of made me wonder do i have the right type of anode and i think the answer is no i'm pretty sure this anode and then the one that's underneath the uh, stern drive over there where the housing is. And I'll point that out in a minute. I'm pretty sure these are zinc. And the body of water where I'm at, zinc isn't what you're supposed to be using, right? So it's fresh water where I'm at. Meaning I need to be using magnesium, not your traditional zinc. I got this one from BoatZincs.com. I'll do a little demo on their website towards the end of this video and you can, you'll see, I'll show you how to order which one, but you can see this one's magnesium and it has a completely different texture than, I like that, it's like a little smiley face. Cool design and it comes with some stainless steel products here, but I'm pretty sure this anode is wrong. Can't be 100% sure, but this boat originally um, came from a saltwater area, so I'm pretty sure that's going to be zinc. And, you know, some of the other little corrosion that I've noticed in and around the boat, I wonder if that's kind of tying into that. And at this point, I'm not going to take a chance. So I am definitely going to switch over to magnesium. And this whole um, kit here, I don't I don't believe it was very expensive. And like I said, kind of towards the end of the video, we'll demo where I got it from. And this one right here, obviously this is a uh, Volvo Penta SX. And I'll, I'll show you on the OMC Cobras um, here in a little bit where you can find it. But um, the anodes for for the, the Penta, just these two. The OMC Cobras, I believe has got one more. And like I said, we'll look at that here in a second. So. Obviously, uh, we're not going to be using any metric um, tools on this one. This is a quarter inch hex drive, half inch, and then we've got three eighths, seven sixteenths, and then our extension. So anyway, this one, this first one, I mean, you could probably do this whole thing like in maybe five minutes, but I'm just going to take my time here. This thing is pretty nasty. Take a look at that. This one spent a lot more time in the water this past season than it normally had. And you can see it's got all kinds of little things growing on it. So take a look here. I actually found a part number. Uh, what does that say? 984513. And I looked at it and it actually comes up as a zinc. Now, apparently if it has like an M afterwards, that would designate it being like magnesium or you know, probably A for aluminum, but as an OEM part um, from Volvo at the time, this is definitely going to be zinc. So definitely the wrong type of anode for this. Let's go ahead and um, clean this location up a little bit before we um, put the, the new anode on it. And a lot of people could use this time, right, to kind of clean it up a little bit and one of the things that I use to clean my boat with is the super clean product here. Pretty good. Um, what I do is I will spray in this area a little bit here and see if there's any added corrosion, see if it'll get it. Um, while I'm also at it, one of the things I like to use super clean for is kind of towards this part of the boat. You kind of see how there's all that growth underneath it. Well, it actually used to be um, down here and you can kind of see a little bit more down there but what i did um, before shooting this video just to make it kind of a little bit more presentable is i took the super clean and just kind of hit this whole area and then uh, wiped it off and 
uh, let it dry. So it didn't take much, obviously, to kind of clean this area up. I got just a little bit left right there, but you can kind of see um, it did a pretty good job of cleaning this uh, gel coat up a little bit here. So anyway, back to the zincs. Definitely the wrong part number. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this area up a little bit more um, with the super clean. And then I'm going to reattach the new magnesium anodes. You can see in the kit, it does come with these guys here, right? So I encourage you to use the new hardware. And this has got the uh, stainless steel designation on it with um, these little lock washers. So definitely use this. Um, one thing to notice is I believe, um, let's see here, what are these? I want to say this is 7 16 So yeah, you're going to need a 7 16 to reattach the, um, the main anode here. So let's go ahead. I'll clean it up a little bit and then reattach this guy. And then we'll move on to the one that's a little bit harder to see uh, towards the bottom. There you go. Brand new magnesium anode installed. Now I apologize. I don't have the torque um, for these bolts, but I did snug them up. They do have a lock washer. So I encourage you to keep an eye out on these and just spin that little lock washer as you get out of the water the first few times to make sure you got that thing secured uh, pretty tightly. So anyway, let's go ahead now and move to the uh, bottom here. And what, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my half inch and I'll go underneath there and show you so you can kind of see, um, what that looks like because it is kind of hidden in there so you'll need a um a socket with an extension on it just so you can get to it so if you're if you're wanting to get everything done with just like a the half inch wrench you're not going to be able to so anyway let's go ahead and let's get underneath the um the housing here and switch out that other anode and one one thing to notice about these anodes at the bottom is they are not on very tight so when you go to put these back on don't feel like you need to put them on with a, a lot of extra torque because I don't think that that's going to be necessary so anyway I'll go ahead and get this one removed and we'll double check the part number on this one as well and we will move over to the OMC Cobra I've got a stern drive that we can we can go look at real quick and Kind of see where the anodes are going to be on that one so anyway let's go ahead and get the rest of this removed and we'll skip over to the omc cobra. there is a bolt and you'll need to remove that and same thing over here there's the two so that's really the main difference with the omc cobra versus the volvo penta now if i remember right there is an anode down in here as well all right so there it is pretty easy right i mean the video aside and doing all the recording and whatnot i mean you could probably or at least i could have installed this in this one and the other one in probably less than five minutes so definitely i hope that's enough motivation for you all to see this and say to yourself yeah i need to be making sure i'm using the right type of uh, anode here so all right here we are at boatzinks.com this is where i got the anodes from and where you can get yours as well go ahead and click down on the left frame here stern drive anodes you'll see we've got omc and volvo available and zinc aluminum and the one we use today magnesium and then same thing for volvo as well here so when you are trying to decide on which ones just make sure you read the description you'll see in here as we start clicking around uh, there's the one from earlier too by the way in that, that top left and you see the description i'm talking about here how it tells you whether or not you're supposed to use which ones and how and all the science behind it in a little paragraph it's all here for you and then same thing for the ones we use today uh, the magnesium ones so just read the uh, description so you know you're picking the right ones all right so the kit that we used today you can see it here uh, it's in the upper left hand corner now depending on which ones you need you may need to scroll down a little bit further to find it but all in all, this is um, going to be where you're going to need to get your zincs, magnesiums, and aluminum anodes. So I hope this was helpful. Have a good one, everybody. All right, everybody. Hope you liked the video on anodes. 
a lot there, but hey, I tell you what, I wish I would have known about this about two years ago when I first rebuilt this thing. I would have got rid of these zinc anodes immediately considering obviously we use this in fresh water. And um, pick up some super clean below if you need a really good cleaning product. You can see behind me how clean it is. I stand by their product, I like it. So anyway, uh, like the video, leave uh, some comments in the comments field below, hit that subscribe button. We will catch you on the next episode. Take it easy, everybody.